Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Cameron or Laser Raptor here, and this is episode 21 of my Call of Duty Ghost Weapon Guides. And more importantly than that, this is the last submachine gun episode, and I did this in an opposite series of the popular first to the least popular last. So let's get into the CBJ MS and see why it's not very popular. So the CBJ MS is a fully automatic SMG with the highest rate of fire in its class, and it's equipped with armor piercing tungsten rounds. So that's built in FMJ for you, and that's a pretty cool attribute, and we do build our class a little around that. Now this gun has a magazine capacity that is a bit average, you could say it's around 34 rounds or 51 extended, it's not around that, that's actually what it is. And the rate of fire, as it is the highest in this class, comes at 10-16 rounds per minute, which is pretty cool, it's like uh, a near 20 rounds per second, almost, not really. It's like 17-18 rounds per second, so you can just imagine your like, whole magazine will empty in a matter of like 2 seconds, and that's pretty cool, I you know, for a submachine gun. Or like 3-4 seconds, I don't know, for the extended mag, which is 51. And if you do choose to put the rapid fire attachment on, you will get 1159 rounds per minute. And that is practically 20 rounds per second, which is just crazy. That's a second and a half seconds just to um, empty your mag, or like 2.5 for the extended. So that's pretty cool, it's like kind of crazy at the same time. But it's just amazing, I guess, uh, putting that aside. The CBJ MS comes, um, yeah, MS comes really cheaply at around 6 squad points to unlock, so it's kind of weird why it's not too popular, but we're going to find that down out at the range coming up. So let's head down to the range and see how it performs. Alright, so at close range, which occurs at around 20 feet or 7 meters for those unfamiliar, it takes 2 headshots or 3 shots to the body using no attachments whatsoever. Now, moving to the medium distance, we encourage and see a huge damage drop-off, in which it takes 4 shots to the head or 6 to the body to get a kill. And that's just crazy in my opinion, that's way too much just at this range. But let's see how it goes, and we notice that at long range, which is around 100 feet or 32 meters, there's no further damage drop-off. So that kind of is a pro at that point, but it's still pretty bad. And now onto the CBJ MS's custom class, we decided that an engineer type class configuration works out best for this gun. And for those of you guys that are not familiar with the term, an engineer helps out more mechanically in that type of stuff. So destroying equipment, destroying kill streaks, and protecting them, all that jazz. This gun has a lot of recoil, which is probably why it's not very popular, so we have the foregrip on for that. And we want to utilize the FMJ shooting through the walls for the full advantage and the muzzle brake adds range and damage. But with the grip, you know, you don't have that much recoil, you can easily take out IMSs, Claymores, IEDs, whatever it is, through the walls. Or portable UAVs, radars, it all see it works out great, and the low damage that this gun has gets kind of fixed through that. And we have the Panzerfaust mainly to take out kill streaks, but the good thing about this is you can take out people as well. It is free fire accordingly, but you actually it's not that hard, honestly, to take out kill streaks and all that stuff. And there's no lethal needed for this class, and for that reason we have this engineering type class. We have the nine bank for that EMP effect just to help you know take out the kill streaks if you're shooting through walls and all that stuff. And that's pretty much it for that. Now, for the final perks, we have Sleight of Hand, Reflex, Quick Draw, and Sit Rep. Sleight of Hand, you can reload fast, is good for the Panzerfaust and the CBJMS. With Reflex, you can quickly change back the launchers, usually slow to change to, and if you want to switch back to your submachine gun, it might be kind of a nuisance. And then same with Quick Draw, you can aim down both of them really fast, really great for the Panzerfaust. And last but not least, for Sit Rep, you can see through walls using that FMJ to take out the enemies. That's a really great thing about that. Now, on to my final impressions for the CBJ. I think that the high rate of fire it has, in combination with the penetrating rounds, the tungsten rounds, can be very effective towards the killstreak rewards and the enemy equipment that exists. The range is pretty limited to CQB due to the high fire rate that causes the high recoil and the low damage that it does have due to the damage drop off. I think it should be used accordingly to that CQB playstyle. And I think this is possibly the worst SMG in the game, but it has its own purpose, so I'm not going to rate it low based on that. I think this gun should be used to take out killstreaks, juggernauts, all that jazz. It will work out well with those tungsten rounds built in with the, you know, whatever you use. You can even put rapid fire on with extended mags if you wish. But honestly, if you use it the way it should be intended, which is destroying that stuff. And this is actually based off the MP7. I know it looks like the PMC, but the built-in FMJ style rounds is something that MP7 had. So it's kind of sad to see that gun's traits in it carry off. It looks more like the PMC and kind of functions more like that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and it does deserve this 4 out of 5 rating. So until next time, guys, peace out.